So only a few short years ago, I was primarily known for an ongoing series I did on my main channel called Fallen Titans. I don't really do those videos very often these days, uh, just because they don't bring me joy like they used to. But today, I've decided I want to discuss a topic that has come across my feed a few times. Something that really bugs me, but also fascinates me. That being the ongoing mystery and shifting goalpost, what was YouTube's first upload? For the entire history of the website, internet history buffs universally have believed that the first video on YouTube was Me at the Zoo, uploaded on April the 23rd, 2005, by username Jod. This sheepish video illustrates site co-creator Jod Karim standing in front of several elephants at the San Diego Zoo. Jod comments that the coolest fact about these elephants is that they have really, really long trunks. For decades, people have fallen in love with this video for being short, to the point, and having no purpose or punchline. However, as you get older and appreciate dry humor a little more, it's not hard to figure out that this video actually does have a punchline, because it's very clearly just a really poorly told dick joke. And despite how that might sound disdainful, I actually love me at the zoo. And I've always held that it's the perfect place for YouTube to have started. However, two years ago, this video's nature as the website's first upload was widely challenged when a curious discovery was made. I first learned about this discovery in a YouTube upload by a creator named The Tekkit Realm. And it's possible you've seen this piece as well, as it currently has 5.9 million views. In the video, the narrator discusses a discovery made by an obscure researcher on Reddit, who managed to find on the Wayback Machine several test videos from February 2005. We see that there was an actual channel called Comtest, which uploaded a video by that same name, Comtest. And there is pretty much no way to play back exactly what was in the video, simply because of how long ago there was it was. This same person actually found out that the first YouTube channel, supposedly, before this discovery that had uploaded the first YouTube video, actually had uploaded another video after that, which is obviously no longer available to see. But you could see that this was uploaded in June, and it's under some clearly random title. At the time when I saw this video, I thought this was one of the coolest and most instantly euphoric lost media discoveries I had seen in a very long time. And shortly after I saw this, I actually began writing my video about Fred Figglehorn. And it was originally my intention to mention this as the secret origin to YouTube. However, when I did some very basic research into this, I quickly figured out that this discovery, seen by nearly 6 million people without commentary or question, is actually total bullshit. The first red flag was that the user in question continued to claim that these screen grabs came from the Wayback Machine. But no actual links to these discoveries were ever provided, only screen grabs. Secondly, based on some Reddit threads I came across, it seems that these screen grabs don't use the right layout for YouTube in early 2005. These were, quite simply, very dodgy Photoshop jobs, probably based on screen grabs of YouTube in 2006. But I think the reason so many people were easily fooled by this hoax is how extremely plausible it all seemed. A widely retold story has always been the idea that YouTube originated from the 2004 Super Bowl, where Janet Jackson suffered an infamous wardrobe malfunction. The founders of the website, allegedly, were annoyed at how hard it was to find footage of this online. And this is what inspired them to begin developing their own video website. The domain was registered one year later in February 2005, two months before Me at the Zoo was uploaded. So it seems entirely plausible that another upload might date back as far as February. 
However, based on what I've read, it literally took them two months to figure out the basic coding to make uploading videos actually work on a website. So that date, April the 23rd, 2005, wasn't just the first YouTube video. It was the first day where uploading a video to YouTube was technically possible. So you might be wondering, why am I making this video today? Well, shockingly, two years later, we have a very familiar story that has suddenly come upon us. Viral on Twitter, as I type this, is a tweet with 73,000 likes and 2 million viewers. The post states that Me at the Zoo is no longer the oldest video on YouTube, as an older video has now been found. The Twitter thread links the video, and at first glance, things seem very legit. The video is nothing more than a mid-2000s image, probably whipped up in MS Paint or Windows Movie Maker, announcing YouTube and listing all of the founders. In the background, Jump by Van Halen plays. This video has an upload date of April the 6th, 2005, just a few weeks before Me at the Zoo, challenging our understanding of the YouTube timeline a little bit. And this isn't just in screen grabs. You can actually find this video online if you go out and you look for it. It's uploaded by user ENN, and it does say that it came out in April 2005. However, there's a few weird details that makes this post a little bit suspicious. I was gonna say sus, but I, I couldn't make myself do it. First of all, the Van Halen rip here sounds amazing. I remember using YouTube in those early days and most music uploads did not sound good at all. Secondly, the video has been uploaded in 480p. That's 480 pixels across. So why is that weird? Well, if you search this on YouTube, you can actually find an old playlist of all of the oldest known videos on YouTube. I suggest watching through it if you haven't. There's some real hidden gems in there. Very nice. If you do some poking around this playlist, you'll immediately notice that the oldest of the oldest videos are all in 240p. And it's not until May 2005 that people can suddenly post in the higher resolution 480p. That's 2005 HD. So basically, if you uploaded a video to YouTube in that first month, it was impossible for you to upload it in the 480p resolution. And if they secretly had that technology ready to go and they were just testing it behind closed doors just for the company, then why is me at the zoo also in 240p? Next, the channel page clearly states that it was created in September 2005. The description claims that this was a bug introduced across the entire site due to a database update. But this seems to have not affected Jod's YouTube page, which correctly says it was created in April 2005. Finally, if you look at this video on desktop, a small bit of text reads, live chat is disabled for this premiere. So this video was apparently a YouTube premiere. 13 years before that feature was introduced to the website. Talk about beta. So basically, there is no way that this video actually came out in February 2005, despite the upload date listed. In fact, if you look at the metadata on the website, the upload date was actually January the 25th, 2023. From my standpoint, yesterday. This video was uploaded yesterday for me, probably a few days ago for you, depending on how long this takes me to edit. So somehow, someone found a way to upload a video with a fake date using the Premiere feature, and they decided to do this on an actual account from 2005, fooling thousands of people into believing that this is actually the oldest video on the site. And I have the oddest feeling that this will not be the final hoax perpetrated by someone trying to steal a little bit of internet legacy away from a dick joke at the San Diego Zoo. I've been Quinn Retoos. Thank you for watching. Alright, so here we are in front of the uh, elephants. 
cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say.